Richard, do you ever wonder about teeth? What have you done with my toothbrush? Nothing much. Just used it to help me with my exercise. Thomas. I flushed it down the toilet because I used it to spread jam on my toast. I hate you Thomas, and also you're buying me a new one. Lol okay. Go and see who that is or I will throw your coffee on the ground. Ugh, fine. Who the hell are you? You mean you don't remember me? After everything that we went through? I have no clue who you are or why you are here. I was expecting you to jump back. Well, you're gonna meet me in the future. Just go with anything I say. I am smart. No, that's impossible. I'm the smartest person around. Do you have the acid? No, I'm not a scientist. Anyway, I'm smarter than you. Goodbye. Who was at the door? Some weird green hair kid. Well, you should probably give mum and dad some of your money to order me a new toothbrush. No, I'm not your slave. Go now. I want next day delivery. I will bully you at school tomorrow. So, as I was saying, I think we should move the dresser to the other side of the room. No, I think it would mess with the sort of motif of the room. Also, I'm pretty sure the dresser is covering a tattered and bruised part of the wall right now. Dad, could I give you some money to order a toothbrush online? Sure. It isn't like you to want to order a toothbrush. I have changed my ways for the better. Really? Of course not. I'm on the website. Which toothbrush do you want? Could I please get that blue electric one at the top of the screen? Okay. Let me just click on it. 30 pounds. That's what you get for flushing my toothbrush down the toilet. Go on, buy it. Fine. I wonder when Miss Roberts is going to get here. Just be patient. We aren't supposed to be talking, anyway. Children, I am so sorry I'm late. We must begin the lesson at once. Miss Roberts, please. Yes, Thomas. I ate some Doritos last night, miss. Thank you for sharing that with us. All right, class, so today we will be learning about cell division. Get out your textbooks and turn to page 27. Miss, miss. What is it this time, Thomas? I left my textbook at home, miss. Go to the office and get some paper. I don't have my pencil case, miss. Ugh. So, if we reverse the process that would leave us with hydrochloric acid. Are you sure you're teaching the right lesson, sir? Whatever do you mean? It's just, this lesson seems too complicated for people our age. After all, we're only in year 7. I guess you have a point. I'll check my lesson plan. Looks like it's break time. You are dismissed everyone. Where is Richard? I thought this was his locker. Thomas what are you doing at my locker? I've come to bully you about yesterday. You know bullying is against the school rules. I know. And I'm going to do it anyway. Give me your best shot. I'm not scared. Bro what the hell? Want me to do it again? No. Then don't make me buy you a toothbrush for- You're the one who flushed my toothbrush down the toilet in the first place. What the actual? You petty idiot. Whatever. I'm going to the library. Hey Olivia. Hey Richard. Didn't see you there. What took so long? I was being bullied by my older brother, only by around 10 months. Hey did you read that new book that came out last week? Which new book? There are so many new books every day. The one about the kids who run away from their parents. Oh, that new book. I haven't read it but I think the school is going to order some copies for the library. I'll read it then. Oh cool, me too. I haven't read it either. Let's hope they don't talk about it in book club this week. <laughs> to be honest that was quite funny. So, if we... Looks like break is over. See you tomorrow same time. Tomorrow same time. Thomas, do you ever wonder about fate? What have you done with my fate brush? I see what you did there. Yeah, because when I said do you ever wonder about? Of course, and then I said what have you done with my toothbrush? Anyway, do you ever wonder about fate? What have you done with my fate brush? Thomas, the joke is over. It's not funny anymore. What have you done with my fate brush? It's not. Fine, I'm not talking to you until we get home. 
Why haven't you opened the door yet? I forgot my keys this morning. What about you? Aren't you supposed to have keys? I always rely on you for keys, and you forgot them. Jerk. Why have you started hurting me so much? You never used to get so physical. Quit being a baby. Thomas seriously. I became a man, before you. So what? I don't like it at all. <laughs> That's mum. She'll let us in. Unlike you. You didn't bring keys either. Richard stopped breathing so loudly. Shut up Thomas. I'm about to go on a video call with Olivia. Who's Olivia? None of your business. Tell me who she is or I will dislocate your arm. She's a friend. I doubt that you have friends. It's not like you have friends. Wait she's connecting now. Hey Olivia how are you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm good. Hey do you want to meet in the park this weekend? Absolutely. Then maybe I can come to your house afterward. Of course. Let me just ask my parents. Wait, what time? Sunday 10 a.m. Perfect. I'll go ask them and I'll get back to you. Hey mom? Yes? I was wondering if I could meet a friend in the park on Sunday at 10 a.m.? Sure. And then can they come here afterward? Absolutely. Yay. I'll go tell my friend now. Hey, Olivia. Hey Richard. What did your parents say? They said yes. Fantastic. All according to plan. What? Sorry I get nervous sometimes. Hey Thomas, I just came to tell you that my friend is coming on Sunday around lunchtime. I'll be in the park before then. You don't deserve friends. I know, you've made your opinion quite clear. Hey did your toothbrush come today? Yeah I love it, thanks Thomas. It's mine now, I've decided. You can have my old one. Let me guess, you've done something awful to that one too. I haven't and I regret that decision. Whatever, I'm going to go watch a movie with mom. This is a good movie. And this is good popcorn. <laughs> Look, the boy is cheating on her. How could you Bradley? I thought you were a good guy. Maybe he'll have a redemption arc? So about your new friend, what are they like? Well, her name is Olivia and I've known her for a couple of months now. She's really nice, I think you'll like her. She likes books and drawing and things like that. Great, I'm excited to meet her on Sunday. Anyway, you should probably get to bed. It's getting late. You're right. Good night, Mom. I'm so excited for Sunday. I know it's going to be so fun. There are a few things that I should probably tell you though. Like what? My brother will probably hurt you in some way. I don't like the sound of your brother. I know he's a jerk. Anyway, I'm going to put my plate away. See you outside. What did my stupid child sibling tell you? Who on earth are you? I'm Richard's awesome and super smart brother. Great. You're just the person I wanted to see. You want to be my friend? Sure, if you do me a favor. What? You hate your brother, right? I don't like where this is going. Don't you want friends? I mean, I do, but... Then if you want friends, you have to listen to what I want you to do. I don't like this at all, I'm going to talk to Richard. It's not like Richard is going to listen to you. You're his untrustworthy brother and I'm his best friend who he trusts with his life. Richard, Richard. Thomas what do you want? Is Olivia here? Not yet but she should be here any minute. Okay I have to be quick. Where do I begin? Well I think Olivia wants me to do something to you. You do things to me every day. No, I think she wants me to do something worse. Much worse. Don't be ridiculous. Olivia would never want to do anything like that to me. But she did and she talked to me after you left and she said that she wanted me to do a favor and she knew I hated you. But I don't want to do anything like that to you because, because... Thomas, shut up. I'm done with you. If Olivia comes by tell her I'm in the toilet. Richard. Hey wait. I just can't seem to find Sarah. She was here this morning. She must have gone missing. Yeah.